Deep in the heart of Argentina, in the province of San Luis, a four-paws team has spent the past weeks observing the conditions of the train tigers. These tigers have lived their whole lives in this train wagon under the care of a local landowner. But now, Four Paws has the chance to offer the train tigers a better future at Lion's Rock, Big Cat Sanctuary in South Africa. They're living in two compartments in this wagon. In one of the compartments we have uh, the old male, who is considered to be around 18 years old, but we can see he shows all the signs of um, aged tiger. This old male is living together with one of the young males. So we don't know too much about uh, these two relatively young tigers. They look very, very strong and they want to protect the other two because they're young and they're not used to see people around. The one who trusts us most is the, is the female. She is around maybe 15 years old. She is very calm and very relaxed. And uh, she was actually the first one to react positively to, to our training program. For their long trip to South Africa, the trained tigers will need to travel in these transport crates. But all of this is new for the animals, so the team has been working hard to gain their trust. You can see she's ready. So it's called positive reinforcement. We use this method to train them with small rewards. That's why we cut the meat in small pieces. So we want you to come in the crate, but you get your reward. So it's their choice. They need to decide if they want to take the meat, they will come in the crate. He's ready to. Four pauses, Dr. Amir Khalil, Luciana Dabramo, and Josef Fabigan joined the team on the ground for the final preparations of the mission. I see at first the team done really a great job with the training of the tigers. They are calm, they can enter to the crate simply without stress with the food. This will facilitate so much in the logistic and the rescue day. But I see Marina and the Vili done a lot of preparation in the last days. And also the animal keeper who is working here since 15 years really done a great job. Uh, but also this is challenges for us here. Argentina is a big country and it's a very long trip. We need health certificate and one of the new challenges here with the tiger, we have to do corona test for this tiger. So I have to make PCR test, but I am sure we will be able to solve, uh, I will say, this small logistic problem. Our job is really to do our best to bring the animal safe to the new home at Lion's Rock. What is waiting for the tigers in South Africa, in Lion's Rock, is the closest to a natural environment that they could ever have. Right now, our colleagues have been working intensively in preparing the space. We are talking about 2,500 square meters per each one of the couples of tigers, in which they will have access to enrichment activities where they can start developing their skills, their animal instincts, and also trying and testing how to feel normal again. The biggest reason why For Pause is here today, what made our intervention possible, it's based on a lot of the efforts that local stakeholders have been taking over the last years. We're talking about partners, we're talking about other NGOs, we're talking about government entities, and also simply people that were raising awareness and called our attention to come and support the tigers. Natasha de Vinter is a defender of animal rights, experienced in big cat rescues in the region. It was in, in February 2018 when I got a phone call from local authorities uh, talking about four tigers in a wagon. And I was like, what? In a train wagon? How is it possible? And then what we saw, we couldn't believe our eyes. It was true. So we started campaigning uh, and that is how it all started. And it's such an incredible story. Well, maybe Dr. Khalil would be interested to hear this. And, uh, and then uh, Four Paul said, yes, you know, we, you know what, we're going to help and, uh, and be responsible for this rescue. So it's uh, a dream come true. These four tigers should be ambassadors for all the animals suffering uh, in bad conditions in private keeping here in Argentina. So Four Paws is here to support, Four Paws is here to consult, and if we are asked in the future, we will support the Argentinian government to make a better and sustainable life for these animals. 
The Four Paws team in Argentina is working tirelessly to make this rescue a reality. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to Four Paws and stay tuned for the latest from the rescue of the Argentinian train tigers over the coming days.